Welcome to International Bilingual School at Sinshu Science Park. Located in Taiwan's very own Silicon Valley, we are the first public school in Taiwan to integrate both Western and local Chinese curriculum with great success. In 1983, the Taiwanese government established its first high-tech park in Sinshu. To upgrade existing industries and to attract high-tech talents and technologies. IBSH was established in response to the needs of the workers in this community. My name is Christine Huang. I'm the principal of the school and it's my honor to introduce to you this fantastic paradise for teaching, IBSH. IBSH is a WASC school. We are accredited by Western Associations of Schools and Colleges. And uh, our students, they came from about 18 nationalities with very multicultural background. And uh, when students came, they probably could stay here all the way from grade one to grade 12. So they turned out to be lifelong friends. So far, we have about 65 teachers. About 40% of them are Western teachers and 60% uh, are local higher teachers. We have the best excellent teachers of the whole world. IBSH is a big and a warm family. Welcome to join us and uh, enrich your life. Bilingual department consists of 24 classes ranging from 1st through 12th grade. We provide both the Chinese and American curriculum to the students coming from overseas. Our mission is to foster each student's ability to be bilingual proficient, culturally sensitive, and aware. My name is Marina Lin and I have been teaching at IBSH for seven years. I'm a high school English teacher. Yeah, I think one of the most valuable assets that our school has are the students because um, they're probably the best students that you would probably ever teach in your life. They are so willing to learn. Um, each day when I have class, they're very motivated. They're intellectually curious. Whenever I have a project, for example, you know, they're willing to, to uh, do as much as they can. And each time that we have a project, they always surprise me and they go beyond um, the requirements. So I think for any teacher that cares about his or her work, I think that having our students is probably the most rewarding experience that you'll ever have. Both English and Mandarin language courses are mandatory, as well as mathematics, science, social studies, and array of electives. 99% of graduates from 2011 to 2015 have reached their goal of four-year colleges and universities, including Harvard, Yale, Denver, Princeton, MIT, Columbia, and Cornell, to name a few. My name is Jessica. I've attended IBSH since I was in first grade, all the way up to you know, the last year of high school, 12th grade. And I'm to attend UC Berkeley in the fall to study computer science. Going to school, waking up in the morning, driving to school, feels like it's, I do it by instinct because I've had first days of school for 48 times. I've gone report cards from our school for like 96 times. And so um, it's all part of a very natural and pretty comfortable process. I don't have to think much about it. And it feels like a second home to me. Teachers and students share the same facilities, such as the pool, the gym, the tennis court, the track, and more. There is also an ATM machine and a convenience store right on our campus. Um, field day, because I like track and running, and Candy doesn't have any because she's lazy and likes to sit on the sofa. <laughs> I like to read. That's the only thing I do. She likes to go to the library. Yeah, sure. No, I hate reading. It's too quiet for her. <laughs> we realize the power of the internet today. By using Chromebook and iPad, teachers are allowed to be more flexible and diverse in their curriculum. Besides the academics, students enjoy a variety of activities and events. Holiday celebrations such as trick-or-treat for UNICEF at Halloween, the traditional Thanksgiving lunch, or the annual Christmas concert punctuate the year with heartwarming joy. Dances, ball games, club activities, and intellectual events are held all year round. So I'm a member of the Student Council, which is called BDSC here, and uh, BDSC hosts events like dances and uh, like Easter egg hunt, different types of ways for students to bond. And um, we also communicate with the office to work with teachers to uh, address different issues that the student body has. 
So I think the BDSU, like, I think BDSU is a very important part of school life here. My school life, I won't deny a large part is academics. Um, but apart from that, I do a lot of extracurricular activities. I'm involved in a lot of things that the school has to offer. Um, I've been in cheerleading ever since the eighth grade, and I've been captain for two years. And I'm also really involved in MUN. So recently, we just had a conference in October. Yeah, apart from that, we also have um, the Key Club, which is a community service club, which really helps um, the environment and helps care for the community right here in Shinshu. And yeah, like there are a lot of other clubs such as Cross Country um, and Yearbook and Vis Visa. On campus housing is located right across a small passage by the bilingual department. Off campus housing is situated in the Science Park, just within a two minute biking distance with a lake right next to it. A great place to enjoy greens and embrace the cool breeze. Besides taking a refreshing walk beside the lake, hiking in the mountain trails is another great option. The Sinshu local culture has a lot to offer. Moving to a new country can be difficult because everything is new. The wonderful thing about working here in the science park is it creates that wonderful blending of western and local cultures. Personally, Taiwan is offered a lot. There are usually monthly runs 5k or 10k. There's plenty of places to go for a nature hike. There's also stores that will allow you and train you to learn any musical instrument. For example, right now I'm learning how to play drums. The beautiful thing about having a personal life here in Shinshu, Taiwan is there's so much available to you, you decide what type of life you want to live. There are three types of buses that provide you with convenient mobility. Heart shuttle, city bus, and freeway bus. The train takes you from the local traffic jam. The high-speed railway brings you to Taipei in about 32 minutes. For my, my children and I, we actually step out, we live on campus, and we step out the back door and we can catch a couple different buses, um, either down the block or right outside the door. So we actually are able to take free public transportation quite easily here around Shinshu. Taxis are inexpensive, so we have used that. In terms of the town, we have taken the buses around here. We've gone down, taken the high-speed rail, which is just easy to access from here. We've taken it up to Taipei. We've taken it down to Jiaosheng to go to Canteen. Transportation is very easy here in Taiwan, and we don't have a car, and we've lived here for a year. <laughs> what I think um, I've learned the most at IBSH and what I think IBSH has in store for all of its students is basically preparation for what college and what you know life in actual society will actually be because um, we know that life isn't all about successes and we learned that here at IBSH. I think the most standout thing that I've learned from going to school at IBSH is to speak out and I guess not be afraid to voice my own opinions to other people, to other students, to teachers. Um, because I think a lot of the club activities and the school events that are hosted at our school kind of require you to be outspoken, to be loud, in order for you to gain some level of attention and influence on how things go, how events run, how clubs run at our school. Mm -hmm. The friendship we have is sort of beyond, like, it's not gonna fade because <laughs> It's just so strong that you can't really break it anymore. Like, the memories we have will, you know, always cherish and we'll never forget them.